Yesterday, guys, a huge patch went live for Black Ops 3. We got new weapons. We got additional levels and tons of new stuff. If you didn't see any of those videos, I'll link them down below. Today, however, we're going to be talking about something brand new that will be coming out later today called Call of Duty Points. On top of that, you guys may remember from my setup video, I talked a little bit about Kaspersky security for my computer. These guys are absolutely awesome. Help protect me and make sure that everything on my computer is locked down and secure. Well, they've partnered with me for an awesome, awesome competition where you guys can come and race in a Ferrari simulator with myself in Kaspersky's London offices where I will be coming along as well. So we'll both be experiencing this for the first time. This is a professional Ferrari 458 GT simulator. It is nuts. And it's a piece of equipment that normally only professional racers would get to use. So, so guys, get involved. All you've got to do is retweet the tweet down below in the description. I'll leave some additional links for more information. But I want to let you guys know about about that, so I hope you're excited. So good luck with that, guys. But back to Call of Duty points. What are these? What are they all about? Well, as I said, these will be coming out some point today, and you'll be able to purchase Call of Duty points for around 200 points for around $3.50. These points are not straight crypto keys or anything directly in game that we know of. At the moment, these Call of Duty points can actually be traded and used in game to buy several things in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So not only can they be used within the black market to get yourself supply drops, you can also get yourself the veils from go for gobble gums or the vials from gobble gums uh, within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies. And it also says other in-game content. Now, this high quality image here shows that we can get, of course, 200 Call of Duty points. But there's another image as well from somebody else that managed to get into the files early somehow, which shows you can actually get 1,000 Call of Duty points with a bonus of 100 on top of that. 2,000 points with a bonus of 400 on top of that. Or you can get yourself 4,000 Call of Duty points with a big bonus of 1,000, giving yourself a grand total of 5 thousand Call of Duty points. Now, I'm not sure how these are going to translate in terms of currency, so I'd assume it wouldn't be, say, one COD point for one crypto key or one COD point for one supply drop, because if you went and bought 5,000 Call of Duty points, you got yourself 5,000 at least common supply drops. So I'll keep you guys updated in terms of how, of the, how the actual uh, currency will work. In games, you guys know exactly how much Call of Duty points are worth in terms of when it comes to buying stuff. But this is going back to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, right? We had supply drops to Advanced Warfare. People loved them so much that the ability to buy them came in. I bought a lot of them, can't lie. Goodness knows how much money I spent. And I'm sure a lot of you guys bought them as well. But what do you think about Call of Duty points that you can buy being added into Call of Duty Black Ops 3? You've got to remember, all you're buying here is just basically in-game um, aesthetic purchases. You're not getting yourself better weapons or anything. So slightly different to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But, of course, with the addition of the new weapons, including the wrench, the butterfly knife, and, of course, the brass knuckles, I really want to try and open as much supply drops as possible so I can try and get those items. And Call of Duty points are going to make those a lot easier. I've never actually done it before, but I've always wanted to open up the vials or the veils, the little, uh, the little things that you can get within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies to get yourself some of the gobblegum perks as well. So I'm going to give those a go as well once I get my hands on these Call of Duty points. But let me know what you guys think of these. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? I think there's going to be some mixed, mixed responses here. But that's all the information we have, guys, for Call of Duty points are going to be added into Black Ops 3, giving you easy access to supply drops within multiplayer as well. So check out those other videos yesterday if you missed them, including up to a thousand levels in Black Ops 3 and the new weapons that I mentioned. And stay tuned later today. I may try and live stream me opening some supply drops. We'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on another video.